people welcome back to my channel as you can see the title of today's video is my phd experience slash how i got a phd for free so before we get into all of that good stuff i want to take a minute and shout out rpg hair this is their hd lace front unit installed by yours truly guys if you'd like to know more information about this unit please drop me a comment down in the section below and i can give you all the full details on this hair all right, so moving forward, um, I am now Dr. Pink Carter. I recently graduated with my PhD in Educational Leadership, which has an emphasis within K-12 leadership. This is a 90-hour program. However, I only had to complete around 63 hours in all, and the reason being so was because 27 of the credits from my master's degree program transferred over to my PhD because my master's was also within educational leadership. So of those 63 hours, 18 of those hours were dedicated to completing my dissertation, which is the most important part of the degree program, and the remaining were for coursework. So I started my coursework in January of 2020, and I started off taking only six hours, which is considered being a part-time student at this particular institution. And the reason why is because, as you all know, I am a full-time educator, and so I didn't want to go to school full time as well as work full time because I wanted to make sure that I could balance both, you know, in a way in which I could be successful within both areas. So after I completed my first six hours, completely killed it. Um, I decided moving forward that I wanted to pick up full course loads. And part of the reason for that is because at this particular institution, because I identify as a minority, I'm an African-American woman, they waived 50% of my tuition during my first semester because I was a part-time student. However, as I moved forward as a full-time student, they waived 75% of my tuition. And this particular option for a 75% tuition waiver is available to all minorities, irrespective of their discipline or their graduate studies, as long as they like I said, identify as part of a minoritized group. So I continued to take those four course loads all the way up until the fall of 2021. And during that semester, I began my dissertation hours. And from there, I was no longer a doctoral student, but I became a doctoral candidate as I started my dissertation process. And from that point, I had a total of four committee members who were considered faculty and staff at my university who helped to support my research and my journey of writing my dissertation. So that process ran, like I said, from the fall of 2021 all the way up into the end of degree completion. Now, the thing about that is, guys, there was a huge transition in between me working on my coursework for that first year and a half versus me transitioning into directly working on my dissertation as well as my research as well as conducting my study to align with my research. Well, during coursework, you're basically granted an assignment, whether it's in person or online. My program was a mixture of both. And there's a due date on it, whether it be a group assignment or one that's just for you. So therefore, there's like a timeline. There's a syllabus for when certain things are done and you have to comply with that plan that's put in front of you in order to be successful within that course. Well, when you start your dissertation hours, the process is more so on you and you have to really hold yourself accountable as well as you have to have a really good committee in place because if you do not, your process can be prolonged as well as I understand why some people start this journey and they don't complete. For instance, the amount that you want to write or how often you want to edit all that falls on you and your plans that you set for yourself so if you're not highly organized and if you're not consistent or rather should i say persistent for your study that you're conducting 
the process can be prolonged longer than usual now there are certain studies where people on purpose take their time and they want to stretch out that process to ensure that they're going to conduct a thorough research program i'm 100 in support of it i agree there's no need to rush but yet at the same time some people will engage in a program longer than needed because they may not be as disciplined as they need to be to go ahead and finish up degree completion and that's a very important part of information in addition to also support your journey of writing your dissertation your research should really start prior to you being deemed a doctoral candidate versus being just a doctoral student and the reason why i say that is because there were several of my classes for my particular program in which the topics were free range meaning i was allowed to conduct assignments or papers on topics that i wanted to choose well i didn't just choose random things I knew that I wanted to conduct research that would help to support African American students. So from the first class that allowed me free range to choose the certain topics that I wanted to research, I used that time, I used those assignments to build a foundation for my dissertation and that saved me so much time. We're gonna transition over to how exactly I got my PhD for free. So we already discussed a little bit of that information. Um, as I described earlier, I am an African-American woman. And so of course I identify as being part of a minoritized group. Therefore 75% of my tuition was waived due to my identity. In addition, the institution that I work for granted me what is called bank hours as long as I was enrolled within a graduate degree program at this particular institution. Therefore, I received an annual stipend each year that counted towards waiving of my tuition. And then lastly, and this was something that I learned from developing my social capital as we just discussed, um, a lady by the name of Antiata Swims, and she's now deceased, she shared with me that I am eligible or that I was eligible for additional graduate scholarships even though I was a full-time working educator. And so from there, I applied for scholarships in addition there were members of my education department who nominated me for scholarships as well as nominated me to serve on research committees to help to boost and enhance my resume. So everything ended up being paid for 100% as results of scholarships, tuition waivers, as well as grants. So my entire experience was favorable i'm so grateful guys that i went ahead and i persevered and i did it in the amount of time that i did because i'm now entering into my 30s and matter of fact i turned 30 this past december and so i've gotten just about all of my schooling out the way and i say just about because i think i want to do one more thing but it won't be like an extensive program but we'll talk about that later but i've gotten all of my schooling out of the way so now I can lay the foundation to highly transition within my career as well as begin other endeavors that are related to my career so I can expand my income as well. I guess we shouldn't get into all that. So I can set a foundation for the other goals that I have for myself as I want to transition throughout the rest of my journey. All right, guys, yeah, so um, I hope that this information in this video has been informative and helpful. I know some of the pieces were a bit vague. So if you have particular questions about any of the information that was discussed within this particular video, please drop them down in the comment section below. Or if you have a personal question, feel free to email me at pinkcarterinc at gmail.com. And the way to spell that will also be down in the description box below. I am an educator, so I am more than happy to provide you with the information and resources that I have in general, regardless of what career field you're in. All right, so thank you, beautiful people, for tuning into this video. If you've not already done so, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you within the next one. Have a great day. Bye.